So as a musician, where can you learn? Here are my top three places to learn. Now learning comes from a lot of places. Your only job is to be looking for those opportunities. So where you can learn, you can ultimately grow. And as a, as a musician, as a performer, as anyone, that should be your number one goal whenever you're trying to improve. So as a musician, where can you learn? Here are my top three places to learn. Number one, easy port of call. Other musicians, other people that are doing what you're doing or doing something similar to what you're doing. Whether that be professional musicians at big scale gigs, you know, going to open mics and seeing the other people, seeing your mates play, even people standing in front of a camera trying to educate you on something you might not know so much about. Any of those things. You can learn from lots of different musicians, lots of different ways, and that should be port of call number one. And as part of that, it is a great tool to learn both what to do and what not to do, which are equally as important. Number two, from the audience, from the people that you're there to entertain or you're there to educate. Whatever the situation may be, you need to factor in the audience and utilize any tools you can to learn from them. People will know, especially if it's not your first rodeo getting up on stage, that the audience will tell it how it is, whether you like it, whether they're right, and they'll always be up front with you. So all your job is to do is to just figure out how to learn from that and take it on board in a respectful way. Often our instinct to any sort of criticism, especially when it comes from an audience, is just to reject it because it's something to do with your art, it's something to do with your expression, and nah, it's just those people in the front, they don't understand. And while there is definitely an element of that, I wanna give you an example of the stand-up comedian. So the stand-up comedian, they come into the show and they tell 10 jokes at an open mic and all of them bomb. Now, perhaps that was the audience, perhaps that was the room, perhaps that was multiple different things. But then at the six month mark, they're doing those same 10 jokes and they're still bombing. At what point is it the audience and at what point is it the material? The idea of a comedian is to make you laugh. So if you're not getting the laughs, then maybe something needs to change. The same is true as a musician. If you consistently play certain songs that you notice kill a room or you play covers that you may really enjoy but no one even knows or you're just speeding through things or talking too much and not really getting to the music, any of those different things, if they start to affect the performance in a way that the audience aren't loving, you gotta take that feedback on board and you gotta learn from that. You, gotta learn from yourself. And the best way to do that is record and review. By recording and reviewing yourself, like I discussed with my good friend Jet the other day on another video, which you can watch after this one, record and review is the best way to give yourself unbiased, completely objective feedback. Now, understand that it can only be as objective as your eye, and as you look back at your own videos, and I've done the same, you may cringe and want to hide in a bowl, but by the same token, it's raw, it is what it is. If you play that show and you look back at it and go, that was so good, and then you see that you played everything so, 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 so fast, well then, maybe it wasn't that good. And also, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how you grow, that's how you get better. And doing it in your practice, doing it in your rehearsal, ultimately doing it live on stage. I've done that so many times from primary school to now, and I still do it, to get a better understanding of what I'm doing and how I can go from where I am now to improving based on what I know the audience is seeing. I'm gonna share one example with you which I am horrifically embarrassed about, but apologies in advance to any Led Zeppelin fans. Back when I was at uni, uh, I had a course, and as part of that, we did a performance, and this performance you're about to see is us doing Immigrant Song unbelievably too fast, and I knew it was too fast at the time. Perhaps it was nerves, perhaps it was a multitude of things, but the main reason I know how horrifically fast it was is because it was videoed. So I'm gonna play that right now and I apologize in advance. Yeah, that was hard to watch, I know. It was hard to listen to, it was hard to edit into this. But 
I understand that after listening to hundreds of hours, it feels like, of iPhone and GoPro footage like that to better understand my playing. The more resources you use to learn from, you're only gonna get better. There's no limit to that. If you wanna see 10 gigs a week and all these other things at the same time, as well as recording and reviewing yourself, you're just increasing the amount you can grow. And by growing more, by getting more of that confidence, you're just making it easier to get past that stage fright and those nerves based on real life experience. If you're interested in connecting with me, you know how to find me, it's Instagram, it's Facebook, you can drop a comment on this video or any other of my videos. But as always guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.